Here we are. This is the losers round two, and over here we have Vile State, very nice Protoss from America, and uh, he's going to be going up against a Zerg that I know and love very much. It is Six Jacks Vibe. But before we get into this game, let me introduce myself and my handsome co-commentator. I am Artosis. He is tasteless. Tasteless? Hi. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. I'm yeah. really excited to see these games vibe. I've had a lot of fun casting his games so far. Uh, he's really talented. He definitely knows how to, uh, you know, manage the mid game really well. Mm. And, you know, I think he's got a lot of potential in this tournament. I do too. He gets deep in a lot of tournaments, tasteless. And I think this might be one as well, even though he's been knocked down into the loser's bracket by Moonin. He definitely has a good shot, I think, against State, but we cannot rule State out. No, we cannot. State is very good. Yeah. A solid Protoss, very precise, calculated. I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, what kind of strategies he's going to be imploring here as well. This I is know. A, it's a big map. Will, will it's an open map. Will State have a solid defense? Will he have a very liquid-like attack? Or will he be gaseous? Gaseous? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it'll be plasma. I don't know, man. I'm I don't just know. saying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, again, I want to talk about this map for a minute. It's a huge map. Uh, it's basically about as big as you can get in competitive StarCraft 2. So you want to be careful, um, you know, as you enter into the late game, things get pretty complicated. Mm. Um, you know, there's so many expansions here. The other mains play a huge role. If you can basically secure the natural of another main, it's very easy to secure that uh, that secondary expansion at another main, as well as the uh, other starting location of that main. So both races want to utilize that. Zerg tend to end up utilizing it a little bit more than Protoss, just because Zerg are more of an expansion-oriented race. But uh, either way, if this does go on for a long time, it's going to be a pretty interesting match. Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, there's some other things I'd love to point out about this map in particular. Uh, I'm not a huge proponent of mutas in PvZ, or ZVP, I guess it would be. Uh, except on some maps. I mean, I love mutas. They're great if you can actually go them, but during the current state of StarCraft II, it's pretty hard to go mutas against Protoss on a lot of maps. Uh, at least as an opener. I feel like this map might be an exception, especially as you get later into the game. You can expand so far away that what is Protoss really going to do? It, you know, if you have mutas and bases everywhere on the map, on all these long places, you can just completely abuse the immobility of Protoss Death Falls. So uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if we see Vibe do something like that if this gets into a late game. Yeah, you know, uh, I think a general rule of thumb is that the bigger the map, and in this case, we have this is a giant map. Uh, the better mutas are going to be, yeah. just because they're so mobile, they don't have to deal with all these ledges. You know, people say, "Well, what about the Colossus cases?" And I say, "Don't talk in that funny voice when you talk to me like that." Uh, <laughs> no, but, no, but seriously, uh, you know, the, the Colossus can't take advantage of many parts of this map. A lot of this is outer space, mm. and the Colossus would fall into space and be terrible. <laughs> that would be <laughs> luckily Blizzard doesn't let that happen, but. Yeah, I mean, with mutas on this map, uh, there's a lot of different stuff you can do, which basically allows you to control where the Protoss' army is. Exactly. Exactly, Tasis. Mobility uh, just becomes more and more important in StarCraft II as we move forward. And hopefully, Vibe will be laying a creep tumor in his main, uh, because that ups the mobility of his queens, something I am a huge fan of. And look at this, Tasteless. Is this a one gateway expand? You know, this build's been getting so popular. Yeah, it's, it's it one I'm starting to experiment with. Mm -hmm. um, How's that going for you? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't, I haven't experimented with it as much. <laughs> okay. I, well, I was doing the three warp gate expand for a while, and there's two warp gate with, um, you know, Void Ray followed up with that, mm. or the fast expand. You know, the problem, the problem with it is that I feel like as the metagame shifts, people are eventually just gonna start running you over if you don't have yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. placement. And, you know, since mostly the train I've been doing is on the ladder, yeah. I'm getting so many different maps that my placement isn't perfect. 
Well, that's Florida's. something that's going to have to be stated. Yeah, of course, exactly. I'm sure has already practiced for this. Vibe, third hatch going up. 31 drones against 29 uh, probes. And I, I got to say, though, you know, three gate expand, very weak to the Zergling Roach uh, bust. Now, that means, of course, the one gate one, I don't think the timing quite works on it, because I feel like it's still going to be too weak against those busts, which are actually pretty popular right now. But they're so popular right now that people aren't. Well, they're, they're trendy. starting to get out. Yeah, out it's, of, it's, out of it's a bit trendy, but I, I would think all the Zerg would have to do is make less Zerglings and more roaches. Mm. You know what I mean? And they would just knock down the entrance and get in there. Yeah. I mean, normally we see that brush used on like Zelnaga Caverns, for instance, against yeah. like a three warp gate expand. And really, just the lings all get in there and do the damage. But in positioning like this, I would think uh, more roach heavy openers would work. Well, a couple roaches on the way. In fact, five now. So we might see some light pressure, but that's really not the number that you want. And Vibe has already started that third hatch. So I don't expect to see real roach ling pressure. And uh, looks like Vibe is going to walk out a little bit. We do see a cannon going up. And will he be taking this third base? I'm not sure, but here he goes. And, you know, I like, I like this. When I see a Provost do this, if you just go out and pressure a little bit, but as soon as a Zerg unit sees you, you have about 30 seconds to turn around. Yeah, good, good point. Yeah, you, the Zerg, especially uh, you know with the roaches, they can chase you down pretty quickly. Looks like this should just be a pressure build here. Yeah, you should turn around as he sees roaches. No real reason to try to commit this at all. Uh, you know, if you lose those sentries, you're in terrible shape, tasteless. Well, as you know, Starcraft continues to grow and evolve. You know, it's really become apparent that actually the sentries are the most pivotal unit in the matchup. Yes, uh, no doubt about that. The, between these two. Protoss have to keep them alive, and there you go. Nice force fields there. And, um, you know, the Zerg, if they can pick off a few, it's huge. And that's what he's going to do. A few Zerglings coming up. One sentry definitely going to go down. Looks like the rest will make it out. Don't worry, Tasteless. They're making it out. Eleven drones <laughs> on the way. I'll try to keep my cool. Thank yeah, you. man. I don't want you panicking. Don't get the viewers I all scared. I might get a hernia watching those uh, sentries <laughs> run away. Wouldn't want that to happen. Well, that's quite a knee-jerk reaction right there, Tasteless. Uh, we do see that an Immortal is being made on that production tab. There you go, Layer finishing up. There's a Queen and a Baneling Nest going to go down. Hmm, is he going to go Roach Bane? Probably wants to get drops researching pretty quick with that Baneling Nest. Yeah, uh, you know, doing the Baneling drops. Oh, there's an Automaton, our favorite unit. Yeah. Dose of spot. Yeah, getting Baneling drop is great because it doesn't make force fields as useless. Sometimes we see players uh, surround themselves with force fields and then the uh, you know the stalkers are shooting down the roaches from the outside, but then you can punish them for that by dropping banes on there. Oh, absolutely! And it's it's so so strong. It's, it's like the new style has so much to do with banelings. People figuring out that actually banes are better against Protoss than they are against Terran. And a lot of people are like, no, they are no Artosis in the Silver League. They do this, <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I'm I'm. 60% serious that uh, I feel like Banes are like actually the future of Banes when you back the against Protoss. Well, they have a lot of different uses. You know, I think initially people were just noticing that you could run over Terran with them. Yeah. But Terrans are already adapting to that and making just siege tanks and sieging them up outside the Zerg space and yeah. baining the, main, the Banelings in. Um, and of course, his response to that has now been uh, Zergling Muta, no Banelings. So, mm -hmm. you know, Bane, the, the, I guess the role of Banelings, I should say, has changed. Yeah. Very well said, Tasis. Now, we Thank do you. have the third Nexus going up. Colossus is being made. A bunch of roaches being made as well. There's a spire. You know what's funny about Zerg buildings? Whenever you zoom in like that, Tasis, it's just a hump on the ground. It's just a little hump, man. Yeah. It's a little pimple. Well, I guess the same is true for pylons. It's just like this little vortex. You know? I zoom in on a man. It's, it's, it's for emphasis. Like, oh, look, that's a little lump. It's not a big one. No, it might it's be not 90 a complete. Lump. Yeah, it's not a hatchery lump, Artosis. But don't, don't. You know how many tricked? It's not a benign lump. No, it's not. Mutas come out of that thing. Well, it's it's malignant if you're Protoss. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, let's face it, Artosis. You see the hatchery lump, and you know you got to eat a lot of calories to, to become, a become a hatchery. You know, it's not just about working out. Yeah, you don't want to send a skinny drone. To no, hatchery. no, you can't do it. <laughs> you know, drink your protein shakes. Drink your hatchery creatine. Yeah. Drink lots of water. Drink raw eggs for some reason that I never understood. That's because raw the eggs. Oh, raw eggs. Yeah. They do that. You ever see that? Yeah. Sometimes people drink raw eggs to get in a certain type of shape. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't know. We're not exactly Jack. I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tasteless. No. No, not at all. 
much more of a Steve Buscemi. But uh, that aside, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, that aside, uh, we do see a couple Colossus out here, not producing a Colossus right now. I feel like that's a little bit sloppy. If he's going to go Colossus, he wants to go Colossus nonstop. You don't just make two. Just making one can be all right, though. That's actually a cool little trick. You make one and force a bunch of corruptors, and then go Immortals. Oh, well, that's smart because you're controlling yeah. your opponent's That's a move, entry. Night End. Another player in this tournament actually does quite a bit. So, ten drones on the way. Four bases up for five. He's looking pretty good. And State very quickly taking his fourth base as well. State's doing a good job of playing defense. You know, he's made a few pokes. He's being patient. I think what he's waiting for is him, his opponent to take some kind of drastic base. We saw he was supply block there just temporarily. 158 supply for state, about max now. Well, now it is max for Vibe. So this is going to be one timing where he has a good amount of units in comparison to Vibe. I mean, in comparison to state. This is a good uh, state of affairs for Vibe. <laughs> is he feeling the rush? No, no, no. That's a synonym for How vibe. is state going to handle this? I guess that's a state right, not a federal one. We're going to find out. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. All right, we see well, Vibe getting ready. Maybe going to do some uh, attack here. I think Vibe might want to expand again and just try to focus on counterattacking. You know, when mm -hmm. the Protoss ball is this big... Oh, I agree. Is it really worth it to attack? I don't think so. Well, some Mutas look like they're going to fly into the back main, and look at that. A bunch of Photon Cannons in a ring, and a Blink Stalkers, man. They are to the rescue. How many probes will go down? Uh, actually, quite a few, but some mutas look like they may fall as well. Just one so far. Some others pretty badly damaged. This is kind of a weird situation because Protoss is almost maxed. And with those probes taken out, he could make just a few more units and attack here. Yeah, that's quite And they actually have a pretty scary army. He's got a pretty sick economy as well. So yeah, that, that's a good choice. So 17 Banes on the way. Drops almost done for Vibe. And that's really important. If he can actually drop on top of those sentries, on top of the Colossus, and perhaps the Stalkers as well, it's going to be uh, quite awesome for him. You know, if you actually kill off the sentries and then remake your army, you're going to be feeling pretty good against some of the force fields. Yeah, a very good point, Artosis. Now, it looks like Protoss is moving out. He's maxed out. He says, it's time to clean up these creek tumors. He's got his little scrubby brush. <laughs> you know? The Colossus scrubby brush. He's got his rubber gloves on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, mutas. the mutas are not being pulled back! Oh, man, that's oh, actually... Oh, my God. That's a lot of supply in mutas, and those are not going to be useful at all. So, Vibe now making 12 roaches. But this is not the best angle Whoa. to go in at. And we oh, may want to turn around. around. He needs to turn around. And starts to drop off Banes, hitting all over the Colossus. But the Stalkers beautifully split into four different groups. Nice micro there by State. And uh, I'm not sure that this is actually a winnable game for Vibe anymore. That is just, he lost too much there. Yeah, he lost basically his entire army. And he's making 14 overlords. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, this army gonna be crushed. That splash from four Colossus. That Immortal there also doing 50 a hit to those Roaches as well as all these Stalkers. This is not a recoverable situation for Vibe. He's making 14 units. Uh, 14 units against like the 20 plus Stalkers here. Not gonna do a lot as well. I, you know, I feel like he just really messed up on that first engage taste since there was a lot of other places he could have done it. He could have done a counterattack like you said, but attacked right there in the small choke, and I think that that has cost him. Yeah, we see a lot of spine crawlers coming up here, but that's not going to matter. But I want to echo what you said. Yeah, I mean, he should have just either dropped or turned around, or, you know, when he saw the force fields up, just back up. You know, you don't have to drop the main links there. That's okay. basically where all your money is. That, exactly, exactly. So, uh... Definitely vibe messing up quite a bit here, and it looks like State will not be denied. Taking out the tech structures, gonna take out this whole main base. What can Vibe even do from here? Almost nothing left over. State, if we see on the minimap, taking another base as well, may snipe this hive and pool momentarily. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. Well, we're like uh, an arc you know, we sight the exact same, same time. time. All right, well, uh, a little well, counterattack. I, I understand the counterattack here, but here's the issue. is the Protoss ball is just too big. He'll never be able to recover, so that does it. GG! And Vibe has gone down 0-1 against State. And in just a moment, we'll be going into game number two. Mm -hmm.